Garrosh versus Anduin. The light shall Priest, bring Priest isn't usually that bad of a matchup. As long as we don't get Harrison Jones. As long as we find a weapon. Usually keep up with them pretty well most of the game. And uh, our end game just hits too fast for them usually to kill us. Guess let's get an armor smith out there, start getting a, working on hitting that down. It does allow him to possibly play cleric here, but is someone injured? Shit. Always have it, man. It's okay. He's not developing when he's doing this, and his cards are priest cards, so we don't mind. That means he's gonna have light bomb for our patrons every time, so it means we have to go for the, the OTK. Which is fine. We're probably gonna go for the OTK anyway. Let the strike speak to me. Like Spike. <laughs> Alright, next turn I develop Despite. And continue onward. It's kind of tempting to go for the Inner Rage here. I'm just a little greedy, just laying it out there like this and hoping he doesn't have Velen Chosen, Shadowward Pain, something like that. So if he has Shadowward Pain here, we might just lose because we might not hit too much card draw. This is a matchup that card draw is extremely important in. Always coin Despite here? I don't know. I think if you coin Despite, then there's less percent chance that your Acolyte's gonna get two cards for free. So I don't like it. We can clear the whole board here now. Cycling Inner Rages. Since we're not gonna be making patrons since we gave our opponent cards, it's fine just to cycle the Inner Rages. It's very useless. Three cards on Acolyte seems pretty good, man. I bring the pain. Do I want to play into Harrison Jones? Honestly, I don't need to kill the cleric. No much contested it, fine. He's got enough cards for the rest of the game anyway. And we need to play this before turn six, yeah? So we have time. She was yelling at me at the house cup because apparently I always ignore her in my chat. I ain't seen her fight for anything though. Feels bad, man. I ain't trying to ignore you or anything. <laughs> All right. How do I want to trade here? We have slam trade. I want to get rid of this before uh, before Cabal can come down. So I'm gonna take this trade. Three, six, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, we're good. Forever cleric, man. Alright, so we're getting close to the combo to pieces. Six, nine. Still doing great. Activate better age now. Pretty good, man. Misplay? How did I misplay? Missed lethal. Oh no. Can't believe I missed lethal. Fish chat told me. to get a card out of our hand, yeah? Pass me that arc light banner. I might have to coin nothing. Six, 
soon we'll be able to execute though, because he's gonna like to ball this and then we'll have an execute target, so that'll be good. Six, nine, good to go. Oh, why do people type in Myra Dance Game? She seems like a nice girl. Don't dance game her. She has way too much energy in person though. I can't keep up with that. She's always like dancing and shit. It's like, calm down, sit still. Jesus Christ, you know? <laughs> but have you, seen, you guys seen the gifts of her dancing with Trump? That was pretty cool. Trump's a good dancer. The that was hot. Ready. You would have played Emperor there? Why? I have no frothings. Where? What am I Emperoring? Like, we have all the time in the world. I have above 30 health. He has no board. I don't want to Emperor these cards. I'm the control deck. He has to kill me. Respect me, bro. Let's cycle this for one, yeah. Oh, there's a frothing. Now we're getting closer. Three, six, nine, ten. I don't want to swing with the Despite here. One, because it's unnecessary. Two, because we're just feeding him cards off this Cleric. So that means he's probably going to have Harrison Jones. So after Harrison Jones, I want to be able to cook up the second Despite. Otherwise, it would allow me to like cycle more fluidly if I were to just use the Despite and then equip this one. Then I could have Battle Rage for two and yada yada. But it's like... I want to. I want him to Harrison me so then I can get it out of my hand that way. <laughs> so... Like Harrison's annoying, let's play around him. Greedy? How is it greedy? There's no way he can kill me! <laughs> it's not greedy at all! He can't get above 30 health, I can get above 30 damage. You guys, I don't understand your greed. It's 4 damage in play. I'm at 30 bajillion health. He's killing off his own cleric now. You guys were like, Firebat, kill the cleric! He just fucking vulgined it so he could kill it now. Yeah. All right. Three, six, nine, ten. So he could balls this. It gets kind of weird, huh? We don't need it though. And we have plenty of time. We don't have to execute anything or anything. I can probably do more than 30 damage with what's in my hand, but we got time. Let's get more. Consider. That belongs in a Ah, now you can finally get this death fight out of our hand. Thank God. I've been waiting for this all day. Jesus. This guy's the slowest Garrison Jones ever. Seven cards left. We have Slam, Unstable Ghoul, Patron, Frothing, Acolyte of Pain, Taskmaster, and we wait for Frothing. Alright, we'll wait one more card and then we're kind of forced to play Emperor, unless we can, unless we execute. 
So we get double execute things now. I dream oh. and the yeah, world it looks like a good board for double execute, so that means you can play Echo with them, right? It's only kind of scary if he has like wild pyromancer combos on it. Not quite what was planned. Yeah. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Hmm. Why play Ghoul? You cannot play Ghoul with Warsong, Frothing, Frothing, Patron. That's 10 mana. So you can only play Whirlwinds with it. So you want to get Warsong. Patron, Frothing, Frothing, Whirlwind, Whirlwind. And for all those, you'll die from any health total with any amount of taunts. Unless they're Warrior. So I'm saying Priest will die from uh, 30. So we will go in here. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish here. He can't actually make us overdraw. So that's, that's cute. I'm almost out of cards. Bring the pain. All right, so let's just like go here. Now we have the full combo, and uh, this is really what you're trying to aim for in control matchups against control warrior, against priest, anything that doesn't kill you, you want to get this. This is what you want to build up to, and uh, as you can see, war song, frothing, frothing, patron, ten mana, and then you have the whirlwinds behind it, which is going to generate a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm just leave it there, but like, I'm trying to show you guys. The, the combo that we build up to in control games, and that's how you're supposed to play control games. If they don't kill you, you can do this every time. So if you can get into a situation where there's trying to not die, and they're trying to just control the board, and you're like, alright, I'm not gonna play my patrons, I'm just gonna cycle my cards and do my thing, you can win every time. Every time, 100%! If they try and play like that against you. So I'm just trying to show you guys that this is patron, this is a control deck, this is how you control the game. It's very important. You have to know the win conditions of your deck and how your deck works. And it helps you if you're playing against Patron too. So if you're like, God, I keep losing the Patron, well, this is something that they're going to be trying to do. And it's very effective. How would you hit past his taunts with this combo? Well, you're able to trade in patrons to get through the taunts. Especially if you have an inner age or something like this. Trading actually generates damage because you have two frothings in play. Each frothing gets plus one, plus one for every minion that takes damage. And when you trade, two minions take damage. So you actually gain four damage by trading. So trading into his taunts, you actually gain damage. So if he has, for example, a sludge belcher, you hit, you gain damage because the whirlwinds hit it. And then you gain damage because the Belcher gets traded into by the Patron, which then causes 4 damage instead of 3 damage. So it's actually more damage if he has taunts in the way. So... It's very good for you if they decide to taunt. <laughs> Their best defense 
is taunting, and you gain damage if they taunt. And then you have more space on the board to generate more patrons because you're able to trade patrons in. So, taunting is very good for you. Them taunting, not you taunting, of course.